Thank you for staying with us now. Home to more than 24 million people, Lagos, a low-lying city on Nigeria's Atlantic coast, experiences yearly floods that threaten to submerge the city. In mid-July this year, Lagos experienced one of its worst floods in recent years. The popular business district, Lagos Island, was almost submerged. Many persons lost their cars and shops were destroyed by floods. Residents took to social media to lament how flooding has become an annual problem, which indicates that the state government isn't doing much to solve. It is estimated that about $4 billion is lost every year when floods paralyze economic activities in Lagos. Joining me via Zoom is environmentalist and the MD CEO at Mac Press, uh, West Africa Limited, Ido Salau. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, good morning. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Now, yeah. let's begin with recent reports. Uh, the Nigeria Conservation Foundation not long ago raised an alarm that Lagos and other coastal cities were less than one meter above sea level. And there was also this report that uh, Lagos might be submerged in no distant future with uh, recent impacts of rainfall across the city. I mean, uh, with these projections, are these the things that we are seeing happening now? It might be true. Uh, you can see that uh, infrastructure decay in terms of flood management is one aspect we should talk about. The climate change issue, we just finished COP26 now, mm. issue of climate change came up. And everybody is now seeing the effect of climate change. Don't forget the physical uh, structure and the, the, the terrain of Lagos. Lagos has, uh, two, uh, the, is a coastal state and has lagoon. And the low-line uh, low uh, structure of Lagos, too, uh, the lowest uh, that is above this sea level of Lagos, the, 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 most, the lowest about, uh, in, in terms of sea level is the Victoria Island, Ikoi Axis, and uh, Lekki, just about five, uh, maybe 50 meters above sea, sea level, something like that. So now our city planner and government, they just need to brace up so that they can meet the challenge of uh, what we are facing in terms of Lagos uh, uh, flood problem right now. So I think the statement is correct and we must uh, raise up to face the challenge in, in an holistic way. So that's my own opinion. When you say brace up uh, uh, to address the challenge in a holistic way, in specific terms, talk to us where we need to upscale, what we need to improve upon to better manage what we're seeing now. Uh, look at the flood prediction of 2020 and 2021. What you see, the, uh, the prediction by NIMET says that between 110 days and uh, 280 was predicted for last year raining season. So with that, the northern part of the country, we have rain, rain, uh, raining days for like between 110 and 160. Why the southern part, we have between 200 and 280 for last year. This year alone, prediction says the northern part we have between 110 and 180. Why the southern part we have between 200 and 300 days of raining? The only difference between last year and this year is just about 20 days. But the, the, the quantity of rainfall that they, are, they predicted for this year is that it's going to be intense and it's going to be heavy. And when you have in, uh, rain in this form, it means you need to look at the, so, the, uh, the assimilation capacity of the soil, it is when the soil could not long, can no longer assimilate the quantity of rain that is what turns to flooding. Mm. Now, what do we now need to be able to manage this excess water? That means 
look at the video that went viral last Friday, week, Friday of a road that was totally submerged. What do you think happened? It seems maybe the carrying capacity of the side drain of the road will no longer accommodate the excess water. So this is what I mean by government has to base up in terms of providing infrastructure facility that will mitigate and maybe uh, uh, provide uh, easy pathway, uh, passage for the excess water into the natural gorge or the natural tertiary drainage system uh, that, that we have in Lagos. You have the system one to system six. Well, let's give credit to Lagos a little bit so that it can do more. They embark on serious uh, 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 maintenance dredging this year. And that's why the flash flood we see disappear immediately. But I'll give you an example of my street, where my office is located in Lagos. That's on Teslim Balogun Street. The human activities there, they neglected the environment. When that flood happened, I was there, I saw it. The entire street was flooded. What happened? The mechanic, the artisans that work on the road, uh, 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 that set up their activities on the road, did not even see it one day to say they want to desilt or the side drain. So the whole area, the whole area was uh, submerged and was uh, filled with water. So this is kind of what we say by responsibility, by government, by people, so that when disaster like this comes, we'll be able to manage it. Responsibility by government. There are those who say that perhaps the federal government needs to collaborate with uh, Lagos State, seeing the projections that have been made and the uh, regular impact of uh, rainfall, especially uh, uh, the flooding that we see as the resultant effect in the state. What do you say about that? Everybody has their own responsibility. In the, in the constitution of Nigeria, the responsibility of the state lies with providing infrastructure. While the responsibility of the federal government is to maintain the river, the, the, the river caused by creating, by, by building dams, by doing, uh, a, 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 giving the infrastructure in terms of uh, 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 what the Nigerian, uh, uh, what, what, other, uh, what, what other agency of government in terms of prediction, in terms of response, uh, 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 that's uh, NEMA. NEMA, what NEMA is doing right now in terms of prediction, what NIMET is doing too in, in giving early information. These are different roles of different uh, governments, what they were supposed to carry out. And why we have little casualty this year in terms of fatality due to flooding in, uh, in Lagos is simply because there was, there was serious awareness campaign by the state government. Serious awareness campaign. And you can see the people along the Ogun River side, the, that's by Ajegunle towards my 12, Ajilogo. They were able to convince them that you should relocate because we are expecting every rainfall this year. And these are what we are always saying. Governments should take their responsibilities serious. And that's reduced the casualty in terms of loss of life. And the trend we see since 2012 about rainfall, flooding, is become is now tilting from threatening to life, loss of life. So uh, what we are saying now, even not only for that, yeah, the secondary effect of flooding, which is uh, a transmission of diseases such as waterborne diseases, is also there. So we need to put our we, we, uh, uh, we need to put ourselves on the on the toe so that we'll be able to mitigate and give quick response for flood victim and where the flood is even going to be affected in affecting infrastructural facility, we should be able to like this reduce. The level of uh, uh, of, of, uh, of carnage that's going to come through that. Now, you mentioned, you talked earlier about COP26, and uh, you know, from the conversation at uh, COP26, money needed for developing nations to adapt to the climate crisis was one of the uh, contentious issues raised, and it was also one of the key requests made by President Buhari. 
Now, we are seeing that uh, there are challenges with regards to that, the aftermath of uh, uh, that uh, conversation around COP26, uh, releasing funds. Where does that leave developing nations like Nigeria and a, a state like Lagos State that is adversely affected by climate change, seeing that these monies are not coming out? Uh, I always advise people, nobody is coming to clean your mess for you. Nobody. You have to clean your mess by yourself. We have what we call a ecological fund. They disburse money every year, every month to states. Federal government keep its own to carry out uh, uh, environmental uh, management and infrastructure in states where they use political will to do. The state government, the one they collect, what did they do with it? In 2012, when the, the, the flood disaster happened in 2012, I was on one of the TV uh, houses, and I, and, I, and I made mention that the money they are disbursing to states, I hope one of the governor of the state or one of the states will be able to use 10% of this money to carry out post-impact assessment study of flood that we experienced in 2012. How many states does that? How many states carry that out? When you don't, this is a country where we don't even have data. We just keep saying we need money, we need money. The quantity of rain that fell last year and this year, who is taking notes? So that we'll be able to prepare how to do infrastructure facility for it. we just working blanketly to the international community. Yes, maybe. We may have those uh, Boyan State, the G8, and these who will be ready, are uh, willing to provide funds in terms of grants. There are so many grants. There are so many uh, World Bank assisted. We have NewMap. All these are area uh, uh, funding agency and funding channel that could be tapped. But we should do our own first. We should do our own because if we don't put infrastructure in place. Don't forget, flooding is natural. But at the same time, a lot of man-made activities escalate this uh, natural disaster. And I give you an example. Almost all the states in the Federation, the waste management system is poor. Even including Lagos. Lagos has been battling with, state, uh, with the waste management for over how many years? What is the to still doing there? It's, it's filled to capacity. They should be All thinking right. into how to use high tech to manage waste. Mm. So, and what you see during flood during flood period, what you see on the street of Lagos is where that are hidden in the city. That the All state, right. the, the agency that is responsible for waste collection, we say we have removed ten thousand tons, we have removed thirty thousand tons of waste in the city on a yearly All basis. Right. Meanwhile, these are hidden somewhere in the city, and the flood will bring them out. Uh, it also allow, we need to, to leave the conversation uh, here now because uh, there's so much to be said. And, and like you pointed out, one key thing necessary to address this issue of flooding in not just Lagos but across the country is data, collection of data. Thank you so much, Idobu Salawu, environmentalist and the MDCU at Mark Press West Africa Limited for your time on the program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.